This is a hard video to make. <laughs> uh, so I am getting the COVID vaccine and I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> so I know there's a lot of opinions, <laughs> very strong opinions, both for and against the vaccine. Honestly, I can see both sides. Last week, I got an email saying that I could get the vaccine in a couple days. And immediately I said yes. And I don't know why I said yes. <laughs> I guess I just wanna talk a little bit about my experience with COVID. When COVID started, we immediately started working from home. And <laughs> it was kind of chaotic. Nobody really knew about the virus at all. And so we quickly packed up our desks and we started working from home. We didn't stop because we're a healthcare agency and our work kind of ramped up, honestly, because of COVID. We had lots of last minute things we had to do, last minute decisions, last minute requests from the higher ups that we had to push out this work really quickly. And it was exhausting. So not only was I dealing with the isolation of being at home, but I was dealing with the extra demands of my job and I was struggling a lot. I know that I should be thankful that I didn't have a break in work. Financially, it was great. And I definitely appreciated the fact that I work in healthcare and my job never stopped and it was great to be able to rely on and know that I would have a consistent paycheck. But I wanted a break. I, I still want a break. I'm tired. Not having a break, being isolated from friends and family really exhausted me. In the summer, when things started opening up, we could go see friends and family. I did a little bit of traveling just around like our province and it was great to be able to kind of get back to a little bit of what normal was before. And then the second lockdown happened and it was almost harder for me, to be honest. Winter is always a difficult time for me. Uh, where we live in Canada, it's dark, it's cold. <laughs> I don't get enough vitamin D, <laughs> so I, I get sad every winter. This winter has been the worst because not only did we have winter, <laughs> but we also had a lockdown on top of it. So I felt trapped. We all knew it was coming. We all saw it coming. We knew it was gonna happen, but it was, it was hard. It was really hard. The lockdown was lifted uh, this last week, actually. It's been lifted for a week and I don't know if I feel a lot better, honestly, but when I got the email for the vaccine, I kind of got excited. It's not a reaction that I thought I would have. I feel like the vaccine is kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel in terms of my mental health. I don't know how I'm going to react physically to the vaccine. I don't know what the long-term effect is gonna be. We don't know a lot about it, but it feels good to have a plan, to move forward, to have some sort of solution to the mess that I've felt like I've been in for the last year. <sighs> this is a hard video to make for me. So, I wanted to take you guys along because I want to answer questions. I want to help you guys make your own decision. I don't know if this decision is the right one. I don't. Some people will say it is, some people will say it isn't. This is just what I've decided to do. And so I wanna take you guys along. I'm gonna be completely honest and open about the whole thing. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, comment below, send me a DM on Instagram. I really want to help you guys 
make your own decision in a very relatable way because I don't know that I'm making the right choice either. So anyways, this was very long winded, but that's where I'm at. So come along with me and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. So I guess I should kind of explain what my job is first. I'm heading out in about 10 minutes to go and get my shot. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride, but I thought I'd explain why I'm getting the shot when I am. Um, so I'm a medical social worker. I work for a healthcare agency. And for the last year we've been working from home, um, but we've had opportunities to go out and do home visits to some of our most critical patients. And a lot of those patients are really, really sick. So we are included in the rollout of um, the vaccine for healthcare workers. So that is why I am getting the vaccine today. Update how I'm feeling. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. I guess we'll see. I haven't really thought too much about it. I've kind of put it out of my mind, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're here waiting for Tom because I'm a baby and I don't want to go alone. <laughs> so I asked him to come with me. I have Wembley here for moral support too. Oh, I'm kind of stressed. Not stressed, I don't know. Like, you know that feeling you get when you're sitting in the doctor's office waiting to go into your appointment? and you're just nervous or like when you're waiting to go into the dentist you know that feeling that's how i feel jeez there's people in masks oh my gosh this is crazy the coronavirus i just felt all the blood go rush to my head what is wrong with me why am i so worried about this Whew. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna film my feet. I'm walking up to the front door now, so I'm gonna film my feet and then I'm gonna ask them if I can record. So we'll see. You know what? We've got another one from your crew. I just put the beginning in the list. Sure. <laughs> Are you experiencing any of the following? Fever, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, sore throat, difficulty swallowing, decreased loss of sense of taste or smell, chills, headache, unexplained fatigue, muscle ache, feeling generally unwell, nausea, or vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, pink eye, runny nose, congestion. No. <laughs> have you tested positive or awaiting test results for COVID? No. Okay. Do you have close contact with anybody who has tested positive for COVID? Uh, traveled outside of Canada in the past 14 days. Okay. You can both sanitize your hands and then you can head on in and check in with one of these folks. Okay. Outside. Hi. Hi. So I have to talk to somebody um, who's like a lead. Yep, that's me. Okay, so I want to record my vaccine. Um, am I allowed to do that? We can if do I don't video. Have anybody else? We can do a picture. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. She's alive! Okay, so I guess I should explain. You go to a desk, you check in, then they take down all your information, ask you why you're getting the vaccine and you go up to one of the tables and the nurse is sitting right there. She's got her little tablet and she picks your name and then she asks you a few questions about like your health history. Um, and then you get the vaccine. And then they make you go sit and wait for 15 minutes and then you go over to another desk where they print off your, um, it's basically like a little <laughs> receipt. They also email that to you. And then they give you a, an aftercare sheet anyway so we'll see how i feel but right now i feel normal she jabbed that needle into me i'm sorry if you're queasy but she took the needle and i could feel it puncture my skin i could feel my skin resist the needle and then it broke through as she punched it into my arm <sighs> later that same evening Welcome to my office. Okay, so update. How long has it been? It's been about four, 
four and a half hours since I got the vaccine. Initially, in the first hour, my arm was sore and I was really hot. Like I felt crazy hot. I had to put the vented seats on in the Jeep. I had my window open and everything. Um, I don't know if that was just like me or if that was just a result of the vaccine. My arm is still sore, but it's like the typical feeling that you'd feel after um, getting a vaccine of any kind. Um, but I feel tired, like really tired. Like my body feels tired. I feel it mostly in my eyes that I, I don't know how to explain it, but my mind feels very foggy. Like I, <laughs> I don't know. It's hard for me to even explain it right now because my mind is so foggy. But anyway, that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna go eat some pizza and sit on the couch and take it easy. And I'll update you when I have another update. <laughs> Four to six days later. Okay, so I have been procrastinating in filming the end of this video because it has been very taxing to look back at the footage over and over and over again and kind of relive the stress that I was under <laughs> when, I, when I went to get this vaccine. We got home and as you just saw, I was sitting at my desk and I was in a complete brain fog. I, I don't know how to describe it. I still don't know how to describe it. As you could see, like I was not there. <laughs> I was actually that night watching over some of the footage and I didn't understand how I could be talking so quickly. Like my brain was moving in slow motion. And then later on in the night, the heat that I was feeling quickly turned to cold. I was freezing cold. I could not warm up. I had socks, I had slippers. I had a blanket, I had a sweatshirt with the hood up, and then Tom actually got the comforter from our bed and folded it over and like double sandwiched me in it because I was so cold, I could not warm up. And then we went to bed, my arm was sore, but it felt like it was just like a normal vaccine kind of sore. <laughs> but I didn't take any Advil or Tylenol before bed. I recommend that you do that because during the night, my arm progressively got more sore. It got so sore that I couldn't, like I couldn't lift my arm up very high. I'm a side sleeper. I couldn't sleep on my side. I hardly slept that night because it was just so painful. The fog kind of went away and then the next day I seemed fine. But yeah, that was really the extent of my side effects. I never really had anything else. So I am getting my second vaccine on March 30th. That was the only date that I had to choose from. <laughs> they just said, this is the day that you're getting your second vaccine. But I will definitely do a follow-up. So if you have any questions that I didn't necessarily answer in this video and you would like me to address them, comment below or send me a DM on Instagram and I can see what I can do about answering those questions. I also wanna talk a little bit about my mental health because I think that my decision to get this vaccine was definitely driven by my mental health over the last year and not so much my concern for my physical health, I guess. So thank you guys for reaching out and for asking me questions ahead of time and for sending me encouraging messages, that was lovely. So I will see you in the next video.